we are getting ready to start pouring some metal. We have our first charge of iron in the furnace. This last, it means that we are pumping a lot of air into the chamber so that we get it hot enough to melt the iron. So now we have our glass fan off and the lid is open. You can see them adding the iron chips and coke into the top of the furnace. And the label One of the things you'll notice is that all of us are wearing a wonderful set of safety gear. Uh, that safety gear is a pair of leather boots so that we don't burn our feetsies, which is key. You'll also notice that several people have weird leather sleeves over those boots. Those are spent. <laughs> right now they're removing that pot. And there they go. They catch the iron in the ladle. That iron is between 22 and 25-ish thousand degrees. using a skimmer to get all the dross off of the top of the ladle. So once they collect that metal, it's pure metal, and on top all the impurities will rise, and they can just skim them right off the top. That's what he's doing now. Now they pick up their nice heavy ladle, come over to their first mold. This is an open face mold they're pouring. So you can see how some of the metal just kind of splashes out. No big deal, that's why we have all the gear and the sand. And you can see the two assistants with shovels, they are helping to block the heat from getting to the ladle crew. Now they're getting ready to pour another mold, open face. So you can see them move the ladle back and forth, and what they're doing is they're trying to make sure that the metal flows and fills up all the areas of the mold. Even though it seems like it's pretty liquidy and would move quite easily, it actually doesn't. So you've got to move the ladle around, make sure that metal fills it all up so you get a nice clean pattern. The molds, the molds are made out of resin bonded sand. It's silica sand and resin and we'll mix it together and then we actually put it on top of the pattern and we remove the pattern and you can pour the metal in the void. So that's how the whole casting process works. Um, it's funny, a lot of this stuff is made out of sand. The molds are made out of sand. Usually our ladle is made out of sand. The lining of the furnace has sand in it. That silica just really does not want to melt. And so it can withstand the high temperatures of the molds and iron. So what they're doing now is what's called pigging, so they're pigging the iron, uh, and they're just pour, pouring any of the leftovers into a ingot form that we will remelt down.